Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing lower on Thursday as the U.S. 10-year yield hit its highest level since 2011, while the 30-year yield reached its highest level since 2014. Shares in consumer durables and apparel, media and software and services, they all took a hit. While on the economic docket, initial jobless claims falling to 207,000 in the week ended September 29th. Continuing claims falling to 1.65 million in the week ended September 22nd. And decliners ahead of advancers, 68% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Costco reporting fourth quarter EPS of $2.36 in line with expectations versus $2.08 a year ago on revenue of 5% year over year to $44.41 billion. Comparable sales jumping 9.5% aligned with expectations while net income improved by 13.5% year over year. Moving on, Tesla in the headlines. After Elon Musk appeared to mock the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, by tweeting, the Short Seller Enrichment Commission is doing incredible work. And the name change is so on point. Asian markets, meanwhile, mixed today. The Nikkei down 0.8%. The Hang Seng down 0.19%. China CSI 300 up 1.04%. South Korea's Kospi down 0.31%. European markets consolidating and U.S. futures calling for a slightly positive start. Now, in terms of expectations today, there's no major news to report. But on the economic docket, 8.30 in the morning, we have the August trade balance. We also have the change in non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate and also average hourly earnings all for the month of September. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the August Consumer Credit Report. And in the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees its aim at 2887.50. The Nasdaq likely to extend its decline below its October bottom. And the Dow Jones intraday sees the downside prevail, and that's in focus this morning, as the index is capped by a bearish trend line in place since its recent historical high. In addition, the 20-hour MA in red crossed below the 50-hour MA in blue, highlighting the bearish momentum in place. Short positions below 26,000. 2,735 are favored with targets at 26,485 and 26,430 in extension.